McLaren has unveiled a Senna Tribute livery. It's cool. It's very different. There's no orange. Um, it's right. It's just not in Imola. Like that's what I'm struggling with. Like everyone did so much to honor and pay tribute to Senna in Imola where, you know, he did pass away and I I like I like the intention and it's actually, you know, a full on let's change up our livery livery, not like throw random blue Ferrari. Right. But it's like a day late and a dollar short. Like why Monaco? Why not last week? This seems like an afterthought or like some a missed a missed idea. I don't know. I'm struggling with this. Yeah, the the one thing when I was looking into this cursory last night when I was when I was doing our rundown is I think that the reason why they waited for Monaco is because Senna is the winningest Formula One driver in Monaco at the Monaco Grand Prix. So I think that could be it. But that said, everything was happening last week at Imola. You had Sebastian Vettel, you know, drive, driving one of Senna's cars around. You had yeah. all of the hype, all of the hoopla. You know, he organized that run on the track. They had all of the memorials. So I, I agree with you. It's a little late. I think that like the livery is nice. Um, it reminds me a lot a bit of like at first glance, I'm like, oh, that's a Renault. Um, but like, I, I understand the history and I understand the importance of it. Um, and the, the, you know, you know, great intrinsic ties to Formula One and people who have been, you know, aware of motorsport for a little bit longer than we have. So I get it. Um, but yeah, it, it doesn't necessarily feel like it, fits with Monaco just purely based on everything that everybody was doing last week. I a hundred percent agree. It like, I get it, but I don't. (laughs) Yeah. And it's like, you can make a case of like, you know, Monaco is the place where we've had a bunch of like really outlandish liveries over the years, specifically the the Jaguar and the hundred thousand dollar missing diamond, um, the Star Wars um, livery with Red Bull a few years back, and by few I mean like nineteen. Um, and you know, it, it's a place where you know teams will bring in these really great showcase liveries. But when you add to the fact that every you know all the thirtieth anniversary stuff was going on last week, it does feel a little bit like. Oh, yeah, by the way, we're acknowledging it more, too. Yeah. Again, this had to have been approved by a thousand people. So a thousand people thought this was a good idea. So many people. 